so hey what's up it's tiffany i wanted to jump on and do a video um really quick um i want to post with a purpose um in the past i've had a facebook page for i don't know eight or nine years and i used to post a lot and i don't post as much as i used to um because i want the content that i post to mean something I wanted to help somebody I, I'm real strategic about how I post which at one time it wasn't like that but Facebook has changed because at one time I really felt it was more of a friendly community now I feel like more people just kind of lurk and they just kind of sit back and watch and I, I don't know it's just different now but anyway I've been real vocal about my depression and the struggles that I go through. Um, so one thing that I noticed, and for anybody that has battled depression or they might understand what I'm talking about, is stress. Stress is a trigger. It's, it's like most of the really bad decisions I have made in my life have been stress-induced which turn into a fear-based decision. So it's like you feel stressed out about something and it gets overwhelming and then you get fearful about a situation. So you make a decision that you probably wouldn't have made if you were thinking in a different way, if, if you weren't stressed. And it gets to the point now where I can feel it coming on like a cold. Like if somebody knew that they were getting sick with a cold, like you know that you're about to really get sick because you start having symptoms of um, runny nose or sore scratchy throat or whatever coughing so you know that it's coming it's kind of the same thing like with a depression or an anxiety episode for me it's like I feel it coming and stress is like the one thing that I try to keep low in my life I try to have low stress but we all know that life happens and there's times where you cannot control your stress level and your stress factor and this is when I go through the most turmoil because I'm having some things happen right now that are totally out of my control that has got my stress level up to a 10 and even though I might look okay it's like I feel like I'm falling apart and that's the thing with depression anxiety bipolar different type of mental illness people don't always look like what you think it ought to look like and that's the problem it's like so many people judge a person and say okay you don't know they they don't look like nothing's wrong with them or she doesn't look like you don't know you don't really know what a person is going through you don't know really if this person you don't know what they're doing to try to help themselves you know I might pray every day I might pray three four times a day but it's a tool to help manage what's going on but it's not stopping the things that are happening in my life from happening and it's it's, it's just hard. That's all. It's just hard. I mean, some people might display it in different ways. Um, you know, right now, I'm probably very irritable. Since my family is closest to me, they probably will feel it first and the most. They see it first and the most. They probably can feel it coming on like I can feel it coming on, you know. Like, I'm really irritable. I don't really want to be bothered. It's like I'm just... You know, I just, like I said, I just feel like I'm falling apart. And I know these feelings and emotions will pass. And that's what I'm looking forward to, the passing of these feelings and emotions. And looking forward to tomorrow because I keep telling myself tomorrow is a new day. Like I said, I'm making these videos because I want to post with a purpose. Not to put my business out there, but I mean... I guess it just is what it is and 
you know, I do suffer with depression and anxiety and I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And no matter how good you think people's lives are, you just don't know. And you can't always tell by looking at somebody. You really cannot. And that's what we need to stop doing. You know, um, I was sharing with my friend a couple of weeks ago, and we were kind of talking about it today, about comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. I don't know who who is the originator of that quote but it's true because we try to compare ourselves to other people we try to look at other people and say wow look at their life their life is so perfect or look at what they're doing or you know she's so beautiful or he has it all or you know you don't know and comparing yourself to those people will steal your joy you know and so my thing is, I don't want to compare myself to nobody else because I don't know what they might be going through. I don't know the whole story. I don't know everything behind that smile. It could be nothing wrong. And if nothing is wrong, amen, praise God. But we just don't know. That is the, that is the word for the day. You just don't know. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay because tomorrow is a new day. I'm going to be fine in Jesus' name. I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing. And I'm going to ride this wave out because it's just a wave. And tomorrow is a new day. And I make these videos not really for other people but for me because I need a reference to go back to see where I was at certain points in my life. That's why I'm kind of glad I've, I've done videos all the time because I can look and it's like a it's like a scrapbook for me so this is just another day in my life so anyway seven minute video way too long probably probably won't watch all of it but anyway it's for me and if it's for you grab it comparison is a thief of joy don't compare yourself to anybody and you never know what a person is going through look at my face you just never know all right Y'all have a good night. Bye.